Hi there fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna create the winner from my poll, Dynamic Duel, the fight uh, between King Kong and Godzilla on this huge city diorama. So as we are starting making this project I want to add two quick things. First, there is a little bit of an easter egg hiding in the city and whoever spots this one first, I'm going to sculpt his request without any kind of pulse or anything else. So I'm waiting for the winner down in the comment section. And the th second thing is, many of you ask if I sell these projects or not. Unfortunately, at this stage, I can't do that. But under the description of every single video, I'm carefully selecting related action figures, dioramas, models of the projects I'm sculpting in that specific video and linking the Amazon affiliate links, where I have the links, prices, and description of the products. At the same time, there are links for my tools, clay, paint and other accessories I use for my projects. As you can see I'm starting out the sculpting process by making the base uh, first. So right now I am using this marker like painting uh, the basic uh, uh, places where the roads are going to be and at the same time spaces where the buildings or ruins of the buildings are going to be. The second stage of our building process is creating the buildings. Um, I try to create as much versatility in them as possible by creating different shapes, sizes, maybe colors, details and so on in order to create the city as lively and versatile as possible. I'm not really basing it at any kind of simple uh, city. I'm just creating random buildings. Approach is two basic types of buildings. First are going to be this tiny small yellow ones without these massive glass outlines. They are simple concrete uh, household buildings which are quite easy to sculpt and cover with paint and carve out these windows. The second and most prominent one is going to be skyscrapers which are covered with glass. In order to replicate this glassy feel to it, once you color it up into the bluish slash greenish colors, then you can add duct tape onto it. This uh, shiny surface of the duct tape will reflect light from it and it will create this feel more realistic look of the glass onto the surface of a skyscraper. After buildings we really need to create the props for ruins of them. Ruins are quite simple to create, you just need this pile look. By squeezing a clay you can create this very simply easily. Then once you're done with that you can just go through your clay and cut out different shapes and sizes of things, uh, maybe pillars, walls, other debris and scatter them all around this uh, ruins. Uh, once you're done with that you can then go through and add more details of real actual building, uh, maybe whole walls, uh, helicopter bases, uh, windows and so on. So now it's time to create this uh, centerpiece of the city, the largest, the tallest building and at the same time the building from which King Kong is leaping from uh, and trying to ram this huge antenna into Godzilla's head. So it is very important to create the building at least as tall as, tall as Godzilla himself is. And at the same time, this will uh, send the actual wing uh, for Kong's jump, jump, in order to like add more weight and strength to his punch or maybe stab, as he is going to do. And at the same time, it is quite important to showcase there are buildings taller than Godzilla is, because in most iterations in the movies, I mean. Uh, he is not very much taller than 100 meters. So once you are done with all the buildings, all the ruins and so on, then you can place it onto the diorama. At the same time, you will need to create the damage, damage look 
onto the buildings themselves. It is quite easy to create if you have this sharp tool that you can cut the surface of the duct tape out quite easily and use any kind of different tool to like pull off from it the clay bunch. Once you're done with that then you can crook these wires which will create more realistic look and later on if you want you can create some kind of more texture inside like floors and so on. Now it's time to create the Kong itself. As you have seen in the beginning I have chosen not to create Kong as large as Godzilla himself is but give him more like smaller appearance at the same time the ability to be much more agile, smarter and stronger at the same time, use the environment to crash them onto him and evade the atomic breath from Godzilla. I think that this scale is more fair if Kong maintains his proportional strength to his body as we have seen in Kong Skull Island and at the same time he has the same size as Godzilla has I don't really think it's going to be a fair fight unless Kong is too clumsy to evade the atomic breath. He can really damage Godzilla in the respect of brutal force punching and simply uh, overpower him in a physical fight. Now we will need to attach the wire onto its body, dig it into the leg and the torso itself in order to maintain this form as it is going to be a little bit heavy. Uh, this wire will allow us to plant it inside the tallest building in order to have our featured leap uh, posture for the ape. Once you're done with the uh, wire adding process then you can start making the texture onto the body. For the muscles I have decided to have this brownish color Simply add the bulges first and once you're done with that, adding the abs and the chest muscles, then you can use a very tiny and a slick sheet of clay in order to cover it up and create this nice uh, look of skin texture. It is quite important to have this all overall one single piece of this sheet in order to avoid uh, linking places. Once you're done with that, then you can add these chunks of darker black clay in order to create the surface on which we will later carve the fur on. And once applying this fur base all over the body, then you can create the head itself. Creating the head at this scale is quite difficult, especially teeth, so make sure that you uh, apply them as carefully as possible in order to maintain the sharpness of them. Once you're done with the mouth it is really easy to create the nose and eyes and after that attach it to the body itself, coat and carve out the whole of it with uh, some kind of a sharp tool in order to replicate this foolish look. And talking about the G-Man it is time to create him as well as we have talked about he is going to be a bit larger than Kong, so the first things of course are going to be this large torso bit and the tail itself. After additions are going to be the thick, quite thick huge legs uh, of his and attach them to the torso and at the base of the tail. Uh, to be honest I really like this design. As you can see in large creatures which try to resemble uh, the design of real physics applications like Attack on Titan uh, for example, the Colossal Titan has these large thick legs in comparison to the upper torso, head and limbs. They are quite thin and small in order to be as light as as nimble as possible for the body weight. For Jimmer, at the same time, he has very thick legs in order to support its body on the land. Once creating the hands, then you can start applying the texture onto it. Using this rubber tool, you can really nicely and fastly carve out these irregularities and scales onto the body. As for the tail and the torso itself, the hind side back and the top part of the tail really needs these spikes which are reminiscent to the Godzilla himself especially for the 2014 and 2019 version 
it's quite easy to create this plates and go with it you can first create the first raw fit and then add little secondary and third uh, rows of it as uh, you go from tail to the torso and once you start approaching the torso itself the, these uh, spikes are making and creating more elaborate shapes and nice protrusions once you're done with that you can work on the onto the sides and these small tiny pieces of clay which later on with the rubber tool still are going to turn into some kind of bumps not as much as spikes but bumps they still uh, showcase that the back part of Godzilla is much more thicker and better protected than other places and parts of his body. Creating the head at this uh, scale once again, especially for Godzilla himself, was quite difficult for me at least. Uh, it is quite tough to create two teeth at a relatively smaller uh, size of his head. And at the same time, teeth themselves for Godzilla's respective size are quite tiny. Once you're done with that, you can attach everything together, make him look up in order to face dropping Kong, and later start painting it up with the same color as maybe the base is, not as much as black, but darker gray, which will be a nice addition to his body and at the same time will distinguish him, his uh, texture as being more kind of a reptile in comparison with Kong which is mammal of course. And after sculpting all these buildings, kaijus, details, ruins and so on, we are finally done. This is probably the most complicated theorem I have ever created, especially considering that I spent probably three times more effort and time on creating the buildings and base itself than the actual kaijus which is crazy but in my opinion it turned out to be quite neat i hope you spotted the easter egg and yeah it is one of my favorites i really like this dynamic dual aspect of the uh, diorama which is completely and uh 100 kong's fault which is dropping from this tall building and facing the Godzilla. I really hope that this is going to be uh, portrayed in the movie. It's going to really be Kong versus Godzilla and not some kind of a... Of course, later on they will team up. They are good guys, but yeah, I'm hoping that at least we will get the first initial showdown and I'm not really sure who is going to win. Uh, I'm not really going to place bets until I see the sizes their uh, respective sizes in comparison to one one another thanks a lot for watching i hope you like this project as much as i enjoyed creating it it still took a lot of time and unfortunately i underestimated this and wasn't able to publish it sooner next week i'm going to be on the vacation and we will see each other after that so till then have a nice day and see you next time Goodbye.